Hi everyone and welcome back to Thrifted Living. My name is Kieran. So as you can see, I'm in my classroom right now and I am getting ready to start setting up my classroom for the 2022-2023 school year. I'm really excited to start getting ready for this school year. Um, I did a lot of thrifting and garage sailing over the summer so I found a lot of like resources that I can use with my students. Um, I also like really kind of figured out a good way to have my classroom set up last year so I'm hoping that like I won't have to do as much moving the furniture around because I already know how I want it set up pretty much. Um, so yeah, if you like these kind of videos, if you like classroom setup videos or classroom organization, give this video a thumbs up. Um, and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. We are so close to 100,000 subscribers and I would love your help with reaching 100,000 subscribers. So let's just get started. So I think I'm going to start by moving some of the tables around. Let me take the camera and I'll show you what I'm going to start with. So I have this kidney table right here and I actually usually put it right here in front of um, a dry erase board and then right in front of this bookshelf. This bookshelf actually has like a lot of my teacher resource books and um, I like to sort of keep everything organized there but I really liked having the kidney table set up right there um, this past year so I think that's where I'm going to move the blue table. Then I have a couple tables over here. This blue one is actually new. Um, I found it in the hallway and I really didn't have it organized last year. I didn't really have it set up at all um, because I found it right at the end of the year. The table behind it is actually one that I've had for a while but I'm trying to figure out the best way to use both of those tables. So I don't have a desk in my classroom. I have the kidney table and that's what I use as my desk. I just prefer having one um, one thing like one space for me to work on um instead of having like a space for me to work on with the kids and then a separate space for me to do everything else i need to do um it's just easier for me to have it in one space so i'm going to move that and the other thing i just realized yesterday i completely forgot that my cart is broken this usually has like a little button right here um and it's broken and I I just saw one at the thrift store and I should have bought it but I completely like I didn't think I needed it but then I remembered this is broken so I'm going to have to try to find another teacher cart so yeah so I think I'm going to set the camera up and then I'm going to start moving some of these bigger like furniture pieces first so I also realized I might get some questions on this this is actually a heart monitor that I have to wear for a little bit so in case you guys see this in the video um, that's what that is I have a bunch of flags from different countries that I um, printed out several years ago and I hang them um, in my classroom but they keep on falling down <laughs> so this is one that must have fallen down over the summer so I'm going to have to figure out a way to keep them from falling down every year. I think I also want to get new fabric for back here because I was just using like tablecloths um, like just plastic ones but I think I want to get something like more substantial because as you can see this one ripped quite a bit. Cool. My classroom theme has always been like around the world. Um, I like to have blue and green, like earth colors. Um, I also like hot air balloons and flags and things like that, globes, because I teach English as a new language. Um, so my kids are from all over the world. So I like to have a lot of like world decor. I don't know really how to describe it. So I have a blue kitty table and then blue and green chairs. So now I have these two tables over here that I'm trying to decide what I want to do with. Um, last year, I, like I said, I didn't really have the blue one set up at all, but I'm wondering if they're like the same height. Maybe I can make them like a big table in the middle of the room, or I could even make it like a long table in the middle of the room. I'm not really sure. So I'm just going to try to move it around and see what I think. Also have them kind of like separated 
which I think I might have actually sort of done last year. This is a lot of stuff. Let me move the camera so you guys can see it a little better. Right here is a lot of stuff that I found at like garage sales and stuff over the summer. Um, I'm going to just put it on the table for now and so that I can have better access to that other table. back a little bit so you guys can see here are the two tables like I kind of like how they're separated but I feel like it makes the room look really small I wonder if I could make them like because what I was thinking is I could have like kids working at the kidney table with me and then some kids working at different activities on at these tables I mean maybe it's not so bad I have some chairs let me set up some of the chairs kids at each table. Actually, I kind of like it because I only have two, so I'll have one up here, one back here. It's different than anything I've done before, but I like it. And I'm thinking about maybe getting some like contact paper or something to cover the tables to make them look the same, but also really doesn't matter. <laughs> there, this blue one I think is a little bigger than the other one. I just found another flag that fell down, so I'm gonna have to figure out something. So I let my camera charge for a second while I started cleaning out this um, organizer. What I'm thinking about doing is actually using this for like chapter books and like series like Magic Tree House. Um, I'm trying to think of some of the other ones, Junie B. Jones, things like that. Trying to keep them all organized in one space. And then the things that were over there, I am trying to organize in these bins that I got at Dollar Tree a few years ago that I just really have never used. Um, I have some of my like, crafting supplies and like my like colored pencils tape all of that kind of stuff organized in some but I had hoped to use these to organize books as well but I think it'll work to use them to organize um some of like the flash cards and different manipulatives that we use so I'm going to go through and try to organize the flash cards now So I've only been in my classroom for a little less than an hour and I'm already feeling really overwhelmed. Um, I feel like this is what usually happens. It's like I'm motivated to start working on this space and then I just come in here and I'm like, oh my gosh, like there's so much to do. Um, I did get a lot of stuff at garage sales and thrift stores this summer. So I think what I'm going to do is start organizing that stuff first. Um, I got like a lot of educational games, um, a lot of books, a lot of like resource books. So I think I'm actually going to go through and like separate each of those so that I really know exactly exactly how much I have um, of each item and I just think it'll help me feel a little more organized to be able to really see everything and where everything is going to need to go so let's work on that so I'm going to try to organize books like into different categories like I have a lot of magic treehouse books and um, different like chapter books so I'm going to have those separate and then like other books on like in a different pile if that makes sense I got some like things to hang on the wall.
Mercer Mayer and um, Stephen Kellogg books. I also found a lot of Gail Gibbons books this year. Now I'm going to start organizing some of the chapter books. I'm honestly feeling pretty overwhelmed right now, so I'm just trying to like keep myself moving. So I figured if they were out sort of organized like this, maybe, I don't know, like it'd be easier for the kids to see all of the different options. I actually have quite a few Magic Treehouse books. See if I have any duplicates. So I am going to stop working in my classroom for the day. I do have a little bit more time that I could spend here, but I am honestly just feeling overwhelmed. Um, I feel like I just want to go home and make a game plan of how I really want to do all of this. Um, like I pretty much know how I want the furniture set up, but I want to try to get some stuff decluttered and organized a little bit more. Um, and I just kind of am feeling a little overwhelmed by it right now. So I'm going to try to make a plan and I'll come back tomorrow and work some more on it. But let me share with you what I was able to get done so far today. The main thing that I did was that I set up the table and chairs that I have. So right here I have my kidney table. On it I have a lot of the thrifted stuff that I found this summer. And um, like just books that I need to organize. Uh, posters and things like that. Just, you know, different resources that I really need to go through. Um, but I have them all sitting here it's kind of organized on the table so when I come back tomorrow I'll be able to look through it a little more. Then here are the other two tables that I was able to set up. I actually really think I like this setup. The more I look at it the more I think I like it. At first I wasn't quite sure that there'd be enough room especially between the kidney table and the other tables. I thought maybe there wasn't enough room but I really I really think there is um, and right now I have it so that one student will sit on each side and they'll kind of be like opposite each other so that they'll have a little more room. Um, and I actually I actually think I really like it. So yeah, normally I have a spot for the kids to sit on the carpet and I don't know, like this past year we really didn't do that a lot. Um, I also work with third, fourth, and fifth. So sometimes they like don't prefer to sit on the carpet. Um, but this way, you know, if I have students, I can have them sit at the tables and then look at the, the clear touch. Um, so yeah, this is what I got done. Oh, the other thing I did was I started working through some of the chapter books, which I'm really excited about. I'm excited for my kids to really use these a lot this year, um, if they're interested. I almost kind of want to make like a, like a library kind of thing where they can borrow the books from here. Um, but right here I have Magic, I have Magic Treehouse right here, Junie B. Jones right here, two sections of Goosebumps over there, um, a couple sections of Babysitter's Club. I think I have Cam Jansen. Um, what else? Uh, some American Girl books. Um, yeah, just a, a pretty decent selection. So yeah, that's everything I got done today. Um, I'm, I'm kind of bummed because I'm not spending more time here, but at the same time, like, 
I'm trying to be respectful of myself and just know that like I will get stuff done. Um, it's just a matter of like not overwhelming myself in the process because in you know prior years I really tried to get everything done at once and it's just been exhausting and I just I'm just not interested in that you know right now especially with everything you know that's going on with my heart um and if you want to know a little bit more about what's going on I have some videos I'll link those above but since I have this monitor on and I'm you know having some stuff going on I just I'm just gonna take it easy so um I'll be back tomorrow with a plan maybe I'll have somebody with me who can help I don't know um but if not, I'm sure I'll be able to get it done. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Hope you're enjoying this series, part one of this series. And um, stay tuned for more videos just like this. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.